A man who was left a paraplegic when a tree fell on him at a sports carnival has received little consolation from the Northgate School. Cedar College offering to print safety awareness articles in its newsletters in lieu of paying a sizeable fine. John Doofy was watching his children play sport when an ironbark tree split and crashed down, sentencing him to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Today he was in too much pain to go to the state's industrial court where Cedar College has pleaded guilty to failing to protect him. His victim impact statement was read to the court detailing the terrible toll the accident has taken on his health, relationships and his work as an IT expert for the police. Life is very difficult and painful. I've missed out on many of the enjoyments of life. He's disappointed, stressed and angry at Cedar College's response, receiving no apology. And they still weren't saying sorry today. No, we're not allowed to say anything at Safe Work SA's lawyer says an arborist recommended the tree be cut down almost two years before the accident, but the school failed to do anything. The lawyer for Cedar College says the tree was rated as just a medium risk and the combination of strong winds, drought and a school sports carnival all at the same time was desperately unlucky. Although it's plainly no consolation to those gravely affected, this is a matter of extreme bad luck. The not-for-profit school has debts of four million dollars and asks that instead of paying a fine it be allowed to conduct education and awareness programs with the Christian community. Safe Work SA is unlikely to support that. The college faces a fine of up to three hundred thousand dollars. Jane Stinson, 10 News.